President Biden will become the first sitting president to speak during a Sunday service at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, where Reverend Martin Luther King was once a pastor. King appeared on Face the Nation in May of 1964 when he was working along with President Johnson to get the Civil Rights Act passed. Dr. King, in light of recent statements of Senator Barry Goldwater and, in some cases, Richard Nixon, do you think there is a real danger of the Republican Party becoming the white man's party in this country? I think this is a real danger, and I've talked with some uh, Negro Republicans who are very concerned about this. Uh, I see trends and developments which uh, will reveal that unless the liberals of the Republican Party take uh, a much more, uh, play a much more decisive role in leadership positions, this will become a white man's party. And I think this would be tragic for the Republican Party as well as tragic for the nation. Today, the 118th Congress is the most racially and ethnically diverse in U.S. history. And it's been trending up for the last seven Congresses. There are a total of 60 black members in the House and Senate. Only five are Republicans. According to the Pew Institute, 13% of House members are black, which is on par with the black population in the U.S. for the very first time. When Congress passed the Civil Rights Act two months after Martin Luther King spoke on Face the Nation, there were just five, all House Democrats. We'll be right back.